Okay, so the next definition of acids and bases, it's been expanded by Bronsted Lowry, two totally separate chemists working in different countries. Bronsted, with his double dots over the O, is Danish from Denmark, and Lowry was from England. Anyway, they expanded the definition of an acid and a base. So I just want to show you an example right here. Now notice there's a double arrow here. That just indicates equilibrium. Don't really even worry about that yet till you get on to AP Chem with me. Um, anyway, you might be able to recognize in here that the HNO2 is an acid, right? According to Arrhenius, because it starts with an H+. So Brown said Lowry actually said that, yes, that is an acid, but weirdly enough, water is considered a base in this equation. So what an acid is, is it's a proton donor. So notice if you look at this H going to H2O, if you add a proton, right, which is an H+, plus, the H2O will turn into H3O+. Plus. When the HNO2 loses its proton, it turns into the NO2 minus ion. So again, an acid is a proton donor, and a base is a proton acceptor. So in this case, this would be the acid, and this would be the base. So believe it or not, water can act like a base. Now there's another part to this, said lowry in that you have the acid is, if you go on this side now, and you just take a look at this side of the equation, and then you go backwards and you go back to the reactants, right, which actually is what equilibrium is, is that you can go forward and backward in a reaction. Notice if you look at this backwards, this could donate a proton here, turn into HNO2, and when H3O plus donates a proton, it turns into water. So what we talk about on the product side of the equation is we talk about these are considered conjugate. So if you have an acid on this side, over here on this side, you would have its conjugate base. So conjugate means uh, paired, like a conjugal visit. So conjugate, good word to know. Conjugate, not pair, conjugate base. And then if you have the base on this side, right, on the other side, when it's added the H+, plus, this would be considered the conjugate acid. And it takes a little bit of practice to kind of master this. All right, on, on here below, we have NH3, and maybe some of you remember from table L that that's a base, but that's a, not an Arrhenius base. It's an, actually a bronsted lowry base. So the same idea again, a base is a proton acceptor, an acid is a proton donor. So in this case, if you just look at the difference between this side and this side, you can see the difference between the NH3 is that it gained a proton, right? So if it accepted a proton, NH3 is the base. Once it accepted the proton on this side, NH4 would be considered the conjugate acid. Okay, same idea here because the, the water actually gave a proton to NH3. This is considered the acid in this equation. And then because it lost its proton, it's considered the conjugate base. So water can actually behave as an acid or a base, which is kind of neat. Anyway, we're going to have more practice on this concept, and your homework is on this for today.